there. All right. You know what? Today we're going to have a little bit of a heart to heart conversation um, because it's something that's on my heart and it's something that's coming up a lot on social and in my client calls. And that is I want to have a heart to heart conversation with you guys today to say, let's start normalizing the struggles of entrepreneurship. Um, a couple episodes ago, I talked about being realistic and keeping your goals in perspective. And it opened up a lot of conversation on LinkedIn, especially about people saying like, thank you so much. I really needed this message. I've been kind of feeling this way myself. I feel like, you know, when we're struggling, we shouldn't be talking about it because, you know, it's not like it makes you look like things aren't going well. And, you know, I've been struggling this month to close clients. And so here's my, my note or my message to you today is let's normalize and start talking about the struggles because entrepreneurship is not all wins, right? There are tough days. There are days, you know, I had a client who uh, somebody bailed at the last minute, like out of nowhere, like it didn't even make sense. But all of a sudden somebody was like, you know what? I don't think this is a good fit for me, you know, or people are just, you know, feeling like, well, I'll get back to you or let me think about it, you know, and, and it looks like in the online space that everybody is killing it, right? Like they're, oh, just landed a new client. Oh, I hit this new thing. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, but the reality is, is the reason it looks like that is because that's all people are talking about. Nobody's talking about like, if you, let's think about what we would do is if you had a normal, like a weekly debrief, good, bad, and the ugly, right? Like, if every single person in the online space had to actually talk about the good, bad, and ugly, it would not look like roses and unicorns and magic and winning and there, you know, all of this magic. The reality is, is that's what we are programmed to do. We are programmed to talk about all the wins. We are programmed to talk about all of the amazing things. We are programmed to over exaggerate some of the things that you know it might like wow landed a new client today right it could have been a freaking fifty dollar client like you don't know so let's just not like get too wrapped up in that but also let's start talking about the fact like man that was a huge freaking bone this week i had this client was really excited to work with her had a kickoff call the day before our call she canceled lessons learned one get in get payment at sign up and at time of contract before booking a call right like that was a huge lesson she the woman canceled because she, there was no skin in the game she had not paid the invoice yet she had the appointment on her calendar right so lesson learned don't don't let people get on your calendar and until payments made, right? Like there is so much we can learn by sharing these struggles. There's so many things like it actually came up in the mastermind. This, this conversation particularly came up in um, our mastermind conversation inside the Alliance. And, you know, and as much as it stung in the moment after having conversation with it, the general consensus was somebody probably got in her head. She got cold feet, like, you gave her too much time to think about it. People get, you know what I mean? People immediately always have like that buyer's remorse or something like that. Like they get, so it's like when you get those different perspectives, then it's easier to kind of move on, right? But if you don't share about those things that you're struggling with or share those vulnerabilities, it's hard to get those other perspectives. And without those other perspectives, you can send yourself spiraling into this world of I'm not good enough. Oh my gosh, this sucks. I can't believe I didn't land this client. I'm not going to be able to pay my bills this month. I'm not going to hit my goals. I needed this client. You know what I mean? And then you get into a place of lack, a place of desperation. That's an episode coming in an, in another uh, in a, another couple days, but it's, it's a cycle, right? When all we really need to do is just normalize the fact that like shit happens and entrepreneurship has some really great weeks and it has some really low, low weeks. And it's also a journey. It also takes time. And it also is that like, we've all been there. So yes, we want to celebrate the wins. No. Do you only want to share about your losses or your struggles? No, because obviously people are going to be like, wow, she does this bitch about like how negative things are. But there's a difference between being negative and uh, and being vulnerable, right? And honest and authentic. The 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 key there is is not getting wrapped up in that, not getting wrapped up in the struggles, not getting wrapped up in the negative, but actually putting it out there to learn, to grow, to get better, to empower one another. There is a lot that can 
happen when you can share from a very authentic, from a very vulnerable way that is meant to empower, not to meant turn into a huge bitch dash. You know, sometimes we just need to vent and that's okay. And what is wrong with that even on social? Why can't we just put random vent, like got to get this off my chest? You know how much, actually those types of posts end up doing so well because it's like, finally, somebody talking about the real side of entrepreneurship. Oh my God. Yes. This is what happened to me too. You know, I posted about that being realistic about your goals and I got a couple DMs like, Hey, Michelle, thank you so much for putting that out there. I was feeling really down and out about my goals. I was feeling really down and out. Like I was behind. And then it made me realize I'm not right. Like if I hadn't put it out there to say like, just keep it in perspective, you would still be spiraling. Okay. So I want to make a commitment to start sharing more of the vulnerable side, more of the struggles. And I really want you to encourage that too. Like use hashtag normalize the struggle because I think it's so powerful. I think it is so powerful because there is so much we can learn. If we didn't struggle, we wouldn't learn right? So why do we hide that? Because these are the best opportunities to learn and grow. These are the things that are going to be the foundational building blocks to the growth, to the sustainability, to your success. Okay. So it's great. Yes. Let's celebrate the wins, but let's normalize the struggle too. Okay. And struggle doesn't mean like we're going to sit in this place of being hard. And then of course, there's always going to be these people out there that would be like, if you think it's hard and you think there's a struggle, then that's what the universe is going to deliver. I am all for words and universe. And you know, I believe in the law of attraction and all of that. But I also believe in sometimes it's just freaking difficult and it is a little bit of a struggle and I'm not going to ever say that it's not because like I said I don't go into the struggle negatively I'm looking at the struggle from a positive perspective to say here's what I learned from it so let's start normalizing the struggle all right I want to challenge you the next time something's struggling you like if you're feeling like you've got something that you're struggling with I want you to post about it I want you to tag me in it and I want you to use that hashtag. And I want you to see how much, I guarantee, there's going to be so many more people that relate to that than all the wins. Okay? Because the wins sometimes aren't always the most relatable thing. But we can all relate to the struggles. So let's start normalizing them. All right? I'll talk to you guys soon.